I hope you found all our prompts to be fun, but this is a special favorite of mine. We're going to play with abstract and concrete nouns and build them into symbols that you can create a poem around. At several places in the video, I will prompt you to pause and do some writing. Don't speed ahead because there's a surprise element to this that will be ruined if you watch the whole video first. Instead of a journal, we're going to start with a regular sheet of notebook paper. Fold it hot dog style, which means lengthwise, like the paper in this picture. On the left side of the paper, you'll start by listing 20 concrete nouns. A concrete noun is the name of a person, place, or thing that you can actually touch or see or feel. List 20 of them on this side. I've started here with four, pen, light bulb, Corvette, golden retriever, all things that we can see or touch. Pause the video and make your list. Now you're going to flip the paper over and make another list. This time you will list 20 abstract nouns. What is an abstraction? It is the name of a thing that we know and understand, but we can't touch it or put our arms around it. For instance, love. We all know what love is, but we can't touch it. Check your first list and figure out which line you started on. On my paper, I skipped the first two lines, so I want to be sure to start on the third line with my second list, just like I did with the first. This list will be a little harder to come up with because you need the names of ideas or concepts. I've started here with four, love, addiction, courage, wonder. Now stop the video and make your list of 20 abstractions. Now is when the fun comes in. Open your paper up and insert the word of between the concrete noun on the left and the abstraction on the right. You'll end up with 20 phrases, like the pen of love, the light bulb of addiction, the Corvette of courage. Continue on down until you have 20 phrases. After you've come up with your 20 phrases, now you get to pick some that you really like. Go through your list and circle five to ten of them that really make you think in different ways. Now transfer all the phrases that you liked into your journal. These are great prompts. You can use them to, to write a poem or you can use them for a story or some other idea. But record them in your journal so you can come back to them when you're looking for something to write about. Now look over the phrases that you selected and choose one that makes you want to write. The challenge today is to create a poem where the object, your concrete noun, symbolizes the idea or the abstraction that's connected to it. The real challenge is in not naming the abstraction in your poem, but letting the object show you what you mean. This is how a symbol is built. We have symbols around us all through our lives. One that hangs in every classroom in America is the American flag. Yes, it's a real object, a flag, but it carries several ideas that are important to Americans, like freedom and independence. Good luck with your poem today.